CDW Technoliner was built by CDW and West Coast Customs to deliver technology in a mobile form. So at the end of the day, we have technology on this bus uh, that was essentially created to showcase the best of the technology uh, industry has to offer businesses. The technology on the Technoliner is equivalent technology that you'd find in businesses today. Everything from laptop and tablet display technology all the way through to the infrastructure, the server, the storage, the networking, um, and as well the screens. On the flip side of the bus, we have a, a huge uh, display. Back here, you can see a couple of Xboxes set up so we can use this as an entertainment vehicle. Uh, a bar right behind me here with a barbecue attached to it. But more importantly, inside the bus, as you will see later on videos, we have significant amount of technology. And it's really here to be able to showcase technology to customers so they can so-called kick the tires of technology before they consider buying it. It's an opportunity for us and our solution architects to really you know, show technology to customers before they make investment in that technology for their business. This is the CDW Technoliner. So we use this to take to tailgating events, um, also conferences, demos for customers, um, co-worker events. Anything where our customers are, and we would like to show them our services, solutions, um, anything that we sell here at CDW, um, equipment that we use here on the bus. Um, as you can see, we have the images here. Uh, this is all run by Stadium Vision. So these little, um, they're called digital media players. Um, they're made by Cisco. So this is all um, riding on top of our IP network here on the bus. So we're connected to the internet and everything um, all of the images are stored on our UCS server, and so they're all being pushed out to the digital media players, and then that's how the images or videos can be streamed onto uh, onto the Samsung TVs that we have. So this is our Kion screen. Uh, it's a touch screen, and we use it basically for the more expensive uh, Cisco Nexus switches. And we obviously don't have very much room in this bus to have really large switches. Um, and they also take a lot of power. So uh, we have this virtual rack here where we can show customers the different types of modules and different, um, different services that you can use here on the Nexus switches. Um, so you can see a 3D view, check out what the back of it might look like, um, to see if it would actually work in your different environment for customers. Um, so there you have that. Idea of little modules you can add to it. Yeah, this is a great to uh, just kind of show off uh, the different switches to the customer. So this is uh, some of the components which you see in an enterprise uh, infrastructure as well as, say, branch offices. Uh, so basically this is a router. Uh, through this particular router you're offering different types of services, you know, say van, van optimization. It has this only integrated e-series server as well. So say if you're looking for a shop, uh, you know, a retail chain which has multiple stores, you can consolidate different services through one single platform. So uh, when you asked about the retail environment, so for example, you want to run certain uh, virtualized servers, say, you know, uh, small applications, you can run everything through it, uh, through one single uh, small uh, one U, two U, uh, depending on what platform you select. So. All right, so for the wireless solution uh, for the Techno Liner, uh, we're using the a small medium series controller here. Uh, we provide two different access to the uh, customers or, or or the guys who are just visiting the technical liner, one for guests and one for the internal use. So in terms of the security server, uh, we are using the identity service engine security server, which is handling all the user authentication, who is connected to the Wi-Fi, and how we authorize those users. On the other side, uh, we have the express pod here, which is like converged infrastructure solution. So for the organization, which are looking for the combination solution for servers, storage, and the management software, that's a pretty much solution to do, and it's a very kind of scalable solution. Okay, a very quick thing, guys, here. So we have two triplet racks. I'm actually taking from the power side. 
two triple racks supporting all the uh, networking devices. You see uh, automatic transfer switch here from Triple as well, which basically provides more redundancy to both the U uh, both the racks. And you have a UPS backed with uh, a bunch of batteries to give uh, you know where this deck rider goes to give this support in terms of runtime and all the all the necessary backup ability. So this this UPS is a online double conversion, which is mainly used for events like this where you have a power failure, etc. Thank you. Our video wall on the Techno Liner is. So the digital imaging is being um, powered by Stadium Vision. Um, it's an application that we have on our UCS server. So Stadium Vision can be used, uh, we've seen it used at schools, um, stadiums like your NFL stadiums have been using it. Um, also you'll see it at you know, baseball stadiums, any type of customer with a large